Um, okay, um, this is Professor Monson Zadeh again, and I'm going to continue with uh, uh, creating videos for Engineering 151 project. Um, uh, shock assembly, the title is uh, for the project is called Shock Assembly. So I've already created a bunch of solid models for the shock assembly, and I'm going to create a few more. So let's do it, okay? And we go to new, and this time we call it Castle Knot, okay? The file name is Castle uh, Knot. Uh, Castle Knot, okay? So that's our file name. Let's turn this on, and now we go to extrude placement define we pick the top view sketch sketch view all right we remove the filter and then we go to center line we place a center line as a perforation then we're going to just place a point because i'm going to use the uh, uh, palette so i'm going to use drop a point at the intersection so we can use the command called coincident so i'm going to go to palette and then we're going to pick six-sided hexagon and close this we say check and then we go to coincident click on the center of this hexagon and the center of this axis axis and now we're going to dimension from the top to the bottom and that should be um, uh, 104 okay 104 104 millimeters and then we have we can create a circle if you want right here we say that circle has a diameter of 50 50 so we're gonna the thickness that we're gonna extrude is going to be 60 okay 60 so if you look at that that's our castle knot check now we need to um, cre uh, come up with a bunch of uh, cuts called slots okay so I'm going to click on this surface here and say um, uh, extrude and then extrude on that surface. So let's turn off the shade and go to no hidden. We're going to put the reference, one reference here, solve, and then we put a center line, the center line and then along the axis. Then we're going to use a rectangle that is going to be symmetric, okay, symmetric. Uh, symmetric with respect to uh, the axis so that time thickness is 10 10 do not worry about the height okay because we're gonna cut through it so it doesn't matter how far this is okay it does not make any difference so I mean if you want you just say 28 okay to get rid of the weak dimension all right so you say 28 so anyway, and now that we have created that uh, one shape, rectangular shape, I'm going to go back to uh, the shading. So I created that rectangular shape on, on the surface. And then we say check. We're going to have a cut uh, through the material, and that will be 25. Okay, the, how deep that is is going to be 25 millimeters. Okay, so we have a, we made a cut. 25 millimeters into this and then we say check now we're gonna revolve we're gonna pattern this not revolve pattern okay so I'm gonna click on pattern and then let me turn the axis on axis of this cylinder or this castle knot and then we go from to the axis we have to activate the axis under dimension and now we click on this axis and we're gonna give a total of one two three four five six I believe we got six cut six and six sixty is three hundred sixty so we have one two yeah total of sixty so we have we have this castle knot okay all right so just like that next we're going to create a fillet okay we're gonna go to revolve um, placement define we're gonna pick the front view Okay, let me see if I can turn on the the plane. Um, uh, this is here. I'm going to turn the plane on, and then we pick the front view. Uh, so we go front, a sketch, a sketch view. Oops, we are in the wrong place. Okay, I'm going to repeat that again. Okay, yeah. 
all right so let's see where the front view is i'm going to look at the front view that's a front view okay so we go placement define front sketch sketch view okay perfect so next we're going to create um, a fillet uh, radius of we go to fillet radius of uh, 20 I believe it's it to end the radius is 20 and that is going to be um, <clears throat> so we're gonna just say we have to put the uh, axis of revolution in here so we go check and then we reverse this arrow and then we go cut so it's gonna make a cut so that we have this uh, nicely flat radius okay I think we're done